Office of the CFTC Report for the data that was recorded on June 2nd, 2020. So let's start by taking a look at gold. What we have here. Gold has been sitting up at the highs, which is what we were expecting. A uh, really good sign for a continued move to the upside. And as price was consolidating here at the highs on the weekly chart, what do we have? We see them reducing longs from 295 down to 288, now down to 277. This is a good sign. We'd like to see this. And if you also look at uh, short positions, they've been increasing just slightly, but they've been increasing. This is good. This is good for, uh, for us to see. We don't want to see longs so um, overly extended because if there's going to be a continued move to the upside, we need to see that longs are going to be at good uh, nice levels uh, for them to start reaccumulating um, a bigger long position. Okay, so so far I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Next we go over to oil and we see big increase in longs from 701 to 729,000. Again, this move up here was all forecasted by us in the uh, uh, Arusha report, in the Forex Market Outlook videos, the free newsletter that you can uh, sign up for at uh, www.whiteoakfx.com. Uh, we uh, we mentioned how we were expecting this move upwards like this. I mean, move from the 20s to the 40s. That's double the price. Okay, double double your money right there in uh, that move that we forecasted. So big increase in longs. 701, 729. We're not surprised by that. We also see a little bit of an increase in short positions. There's going to be a move down. We believe it's going to be uh, taking place from a little bit higher and then we're going to see it turn over and drop. So, so far everything is looking um, really good there. Now we have the US dollar, very cooled off longs, very cooled off shorts, very cooled off total size. And now uh, we've gone from somewhat um, uh, bullish, okay, very, very small uh, amount of bullishness there in their positions to now neutral. Why is that? Well. Longs dropped from 21,000 to 17,000, and that came as price was dropping here. So we continue to be playing within a range, and we're waiting for that range to uh, break out. It's either to the downside or to the upside. Dynamics suggest to the upside, so we'll wait to see what takes place there. Now we have the Aussie. This move forecasted up in the community, in the Arusha report, in the Forex Market Outlook videos. We we were expecting this move up and that's exactly what we got and so right here as price was uh, rallying up through a an area of supply we had them increasing their longs very slightly and they're also increasing their shorts okay um, bearish sentiment still uh, remains and net positions have hardly moved we are still expecting more upside eventually to come uh, through and we've detailed this and the reasons why in the uh, latest Forex Market Outlook video. So if you're a student, go and have a look there. This move down we forecasted um, and if we look at the positions we can see that they uh, decreased their long positions Okay, as price was dropping and they uh, also decreased their shorts. So shorts still remain very cooled off. Uh, longs are getting a little bit more aggressive over the last few weeks even with this decline and you know we take a look here They've gone from bearish to bullish, and the sentiment is bullish. So this is looking really good for um, a, a potential move up. I've got my eyes on this. The community has their eyes on this. We are looking to engage in this chart um, uh, with some long positions very soon. U.S. Swiss franc, bottom of the range. So we're also at demand, just like at the U.S. CAD. Uh, longs are very cooled off here. Uh, shorts are somewhat aggressive and bearish bias. So in terms of chart formations, there's nothing really clear except for the fact that we're in a uh, in a range and demand is currently in play. Euro US dollar, we have a slight decrease in longs and a bigger decrease in short positions which causes long exposure to go up one one point to 65 percent and take a look here net positions increase from uh, a positive 75,000 to a positive 81,000 top of the range just like with the dollar at the bottom of the range we're expecting some downside pressure to come in soon and then we have the pound US dollar 
Um, this is a very ugly chart, but we see a big decrease in long positions and an increase in short positions. So and that came as price was rallying up. No rhyme or reason for what price is doing right now. We are sitting in demand, so the upside was uh, expected, and on the higher time frames, we're also sitting in demand. But this is not a clear chart, and the positions are not really showing us anything strong. Uh, U.S. dollar, Japanese yen, uh, decrease or an increase, a big increase in long uh, positions, and also an increase in shorts, and we have a push to the upside. There's a good possibility that if price closes up at these highs, that we'll get a continued move to the upside so we're not seeing that in the positions right now but the charts are displaying that uh, possibility uh, Kiwi big increase in in uh, longs and shorts did nothing that increases long exposure from 31% to 34% still a little bit bearish here in terms of sentiment uh, even though that there was a d decline in net positions and so price rallied up continued rallying up and now we're inside supply so we're watching this area for potential short um, and in terms of the uh, positions we can see that shorts are the aggressor and sentiment is also in line with that okay so that's your CFTC report for June 2nd 2020 if you need more information want to learn more you can reach us at www.whiteoakfx.com Thanks and have a great week. Take care.